Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Tommy Highbanks the four wheel drive piston cup racer number 54 from Cars 3 so before we get right into the review let me discuss something so Tommy Highbanks is an Excello Fission EA stock car that raced in the Piston Cup for full wheel drive and was number 54. And he had previously replaced the other full wheel drive racer, Johnny Blammer from Cars 1, who I don't have, and is also one of the rarest cars in the 155 scale diecast line. And in 2016, I mean, he was one of the racers that took part of the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South and the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway. And when Next Gen Racers started dominating the circuit, he was displaced by his sponsor in favor of a Next Gen Racer named Herb Kerbler. And that is it. So now let's get right into the review. Here we've got his friendly facial expression, his black grill, and his headlights, and a number 54 underneath, and we've got, got his green exterior, and on the hood we've got a bit of tan in the background with the four wheel drive logo and the slogan, Dirt Deck Howls, and on the left side we've got a bit of blue with a bit of forest in the background and a black rims and a light year tires and a yellow number 54 and the and little arrow at the bottom in, in indicating a, for a pity to lift him up while it changes the tires and the full wheel drive logo and the gas cap and the slogan dirt deck house and the few contingency sponsors saying piston cup vitaline revolting rpm nitrate octane gain and clutch aid and on the top, we've got a bit of wood in the background and the uh, tire marks and uh, yellow number 54, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got the four -wheel, another four-wheel drive logo and the slogan Dirt Deck House and the green spoiler. And on the back, we've got a bit of yellow on the back and a light blue sky in the background and the, another part of a forest and the red taillights and the four-wheel drive logo and on the back bumper we've got a bit of forest uh, background and the slogan Dirt Deck Hells and a number 54 and on the right side we've got the exhaust pipe and similar design but completely different and no light year on the front rims and that is it so now let, let's compare them to the other four wheel will drive and racer Herb Kerbler again. Both are racers that race in the Piston Cup for four wheel drive and are number 54, but here are some differences. Stock car, next gen racer, veteran rookie, old four wheel drive logo, new four wheel drive logo, old 54, new 54, no name signature. Old spoiler, new spoiler. Black rims on light year tires. Old light year tires, new light year tires. Continu few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. Few less contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Old 54, New 54, Old Four Wheel Drive logo, New Four Wheel Drive logo, the gas caps. Four Wheel Drive logo at the back, the tail lights, and Sponsor slogan on back bumper, no slogan on back bumper, just the stripes, no stripes, which means Herb is a rookie while Tommy is a veteran. And that is it. 
And now let's compare them to, and now let's pull up some of the other Excello Fish on EA stock cars. We've got Brick Yardley, Dud Throttleman, the Revengo Racer, alias Joshua Josh Leverson, Parker Brakeston, Buck Baringley, Brian Spark, and Terry Cargez, even though he has he's similar to an a similar to a Chevy Monte Carlo or a Gen 5 or Gen 6 NASCAR stock car. And some of the other XLO models, we've got Mac Guy Carr, who is a regular Fijon. Cora Copper, who is a Rapid OSI. And Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which four-wheel drive racer is your favorite? Which Accelo Fijon EA stock racer is your favorite? And which Accelo, other Accelo vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well as as well as considering the support by viewing and subscribing to my channel I would and making suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next in the comments down as well I would really appreciate it very much and I hope to see you guys next time for another review so please stay tuned goodbye now